is returned to automate the logging in or to SLS and then it will use the database that based on this URL here based on this URL so some of the URL may not have the MRV string so it will do a series of manipulation and then eventually visit the correct website it will then unpublish in the new pop-up it will do a series of links and then calculate the number of activities calculate the number of settings calculate the number of tags and then it will automatically go and find whether this tag is relevant or equal to P4 so P4 is LSSNT because of the case sensitive uh, there needs to be a different um, variable P4 to P8 and then I included another set of variable here until P11 so that you can actually write up to 8 keywords to be removed and then uh, add 1 and add 2 are words to, to add and remove let me just add this again okay then you will do a add type in the text and then you eventually approve and then close and then it continues the loop to run this file you need to type the tag UI followed by file name and the URL database and with that you can see that it launches the website let me try to move it to the side there we stop and uh, it is going into the web page it's starting a new flow this has already locked in and uh, the URL is taken from the database CSV file so it's already unpublished just now so it will try to go to the pop-up and now it is uh, scrolling through all the activities as you can see it's now on the second activity it's looking at all the setting one two three uh, if there's nothing here that has the has the add descriptive tag then it will not do anything if it exists then it will start to count the number of tags and then it will do the reading of the text that is inside the tag so if there's nothing then it will continue to exit save and approve and then it will close now it's starting again it has moved on to a new lesson so it's detecting the number of uh, gears settings if there's no text then it will not do anything it will come out by closing the tag so here it's crawling through all the, the text heat energy temperature and then it will key in if there is nothing to do for that part then it will type in the, the new words which is provided in the CSV file so this will make it a lot more scalable so that any ordinary person can just edit the CSV file and then be able to automate this uh, by running the file.